Hello, and welcome to CONSTRUCT! I'm sorry about that, but it's in all caps, so I assume you have to scream the title. This is a game that kind of came out of nowhere for me. I had never heard of this before, but I just noticed it in Steam releases, new Steam releases, and I took one look at it, and I thought, hey, that looks pretty neat. All I know is that it's a first-person platformer, kind of a sci-fi theme going on, and I do love me some first-person platformers. I know many people don't, but I love them. And the developer was kind enough to give me a review code for the game, so here we are, playing Construct. Thank you very much for that, and that is pretty much all I know about the game. I haven't looked into anything else. I don't know how it works, how long it is, what you actually do, no clue. It kind of gave me a little bit of a dead core vibe, but I don't think there's any shooting, actual shooting involved or anything like that, so I, I just kind of want to check it out and see what happens and try it out. It, it looks sweet, so let's jump into it. And as always, options menu first. I always go into the options and go through them and comment a little bit. If you go into, I'm going to wait with input, if you go into the video options, there's a few, oh, what the hell? I turned off these things. I don't want camera motion blur or noise effects because they are kind of awful for video making. Blur of any kind and noise is really bad when you're recording because you can't really see that on YouTube anyway. It just looks like the video is shittier quality. So off those go, but the rest, pretty decent options. This is a Unity game. You might notice there's no resolution options or anything like that. That's because it's a Unity game, so you just launch it and there's a launcher where you select your stuff and like fantastic video quality and whatever that means and your resolution. So I still kind of like to have that in game, even if it's a, uh, a Unity game. I, I find it's like there are plenty of Unity games that do that anyway. They have a launcher or they even like skip the launcher. It's built in Unity, but they just don't use the launcher. And I honestly kind of prefer that just having it in game and choosing all the options there and stuff, but it works, it's fine. And yeah, the options are decent enough. One thing I will note is that the game does seem to be locked at 60 FPS. I don't know if that's because of like V-Sync. Is there any V-Sync anywhere? I don't think so. It like doesn't say if it has V-Sync. I haven't dug into the files. Maybe there are some files you can tweak. I might look into that next time, but it's locked to 60, which normally is a pretty big deal for me when it comes to first-person shooters or FPS games in general. Just, it's not great, but I've tried this game out, and honestly, it seems to run pretty damn well. I only played like a minute just running around in the first area, so I don't know if it's going to get worse or anything, but I can kind of forgive it, because if, it's, if it just runs really smooth, then do you really need more? I'm also not sure if it's locked to 60 because I have a 60 hertz monitor. That could be a thing. I don't know, but just thought I'd throw that out there in case you're curious. Then you have uh, tutorials. You have visual mode, which is kind of interesting. You can select different looks. Whoa, holy shit. They're very, very interesting, but I'm going to stick with the default for now until we know what the game even is. And maybe I'll experiment with these a bit later on. And you can choose languages as well, but I like English, so let's stick with that. Input. Oh, what? Oh, I see. Everything got defaulted because I I created a save file, but then I deleted that save file so that I could create a new one for the series. And that's why everything got, like, completely defaulted. But I just put these all the way in the fucking bottom. And I don't know why you can't go lower than 0 0.50 and only goes up to 2, so it's a kind of mediocre sensitivity thing, but then again, it's better than nothing. I've seen plenty of Unity games that don't even include it, and those are horrible because you can't... Yeah, I had to, like, for some of them, I've had to manually adjust my mouse sensitivity, and it's just... It's never right. You can never get it right. So this is fine. I tested this out, and it seems okay. I turned down smoothing just because it's kind of distracting, but I guess for a video-making sense it could maybe be a decent idea, but I'm just gonna stick with this and see how that works. Toggle sprint, no thanks. Use a controller, no thank you. 
and audio options. Just gonna leave this as is for now, and as always, I'll tweak it if I need to as we go along. Pretty bare bones. I mean, I don't think there's any, like, I don't know if there's any story to the game or any voice acting or anything like that. I guess we'll find out. But yeah, I'll tweak this if we need to. Always ni nice to have some sliders at least. And that's about it. All right, let's jump into it and see what the hell Construct is about. So here we are. And it tells you, it starts you off with a tutorial. Look and move. You can use the mouse to look, W, A, S, and D to strafe around and move around. Amazing. Doesn't tell you that you can sprint though, but you can sprint with shift. I also noticed right away, kind of interesting, if you sprint you see those three arrows, but you see this little weird bracketed, like, up arrow thing. Apparently that's just an indicator that you're on the ground, which is kind of strange. So if you jump you just lose that. So, not sure why that would be useful, but maybe? We'll find out. Also, first thing I did in this game was jump off the edge and I thought it would just teleport you back up. Naturally, that's what you would assume, but apparently it doesn't, and now you're just kind of stuck here, because I don't think you can jump up again, as far as I know. Let's see. I think there was a point where I just couldn't get up anymore. Yeah, right here. So what you actually have to do is just restart from the menu. Kind of strange to have that in a game, like not auto-killing you or auto-teleporting you back to a checkpoint or whatever, but I can get behind that. That seems pretty cool. Okay. Sprint. Hold left shift while moving to sprint. Toggle sprint can be enabled. I don't want toggle sprint. But yeah. It's pretty cool. And oh my god. Okay, I have not seen this. I just ran around like in here. So now, let's see what this game is about. And let's of course jump off here. Maybe in here, it's gonna teleport me back. Because now I'm falling way too far. No? Are you just gonna fall forever? Do you just have to hit restart? No, okay. It does teleport you back eventually. Oh, reset position. You fell out with... What? Out with the bounds of the area and have been reset to the last safe position. You can manually reset at any time by pressing enter. I see, that's cool, so you don't have to go up and hit reset. Is that like instant? I'm I'm hitting enter and nothing is happening. Okay, I hit numpad enter and it worked. All right, well, I guess that's fine. Numpad enter is actually kind of easier to hit with my right hand, so that's fine. And yeah, that's much faster than going in here and hitting restart, so that's cool. All right. Fair enough. Let's continue on. Jump. Press space to jump. Jump while sprinting to cover great distances. The jump indicator is shown at the lower left of the screen. Yeah. Does that just mean like you have a jump? Or that you can jump? Maybe there will be like double jumps? Maybe I'll get sort of a... Like a double arrow in there, counting down how many jumps I have? Possibly. But yeah, as I said, 60 FPS, but it still runs really well. I tend to find that if they're locked at 60 FPS, if a game is locked, boost pads. Boost pads allow you to perform massive jumps. Move onto or land on a boost pad to use. Alright. I tend to find that games that are locked to 60, they, oh, aerial move! Use the movement keys, W, S, and D, to adjust your position while in midair. Yeah, okay, oh god, holy shit. Um, so much for the performance. Well, I didn't test this, so that's a problem. It's, it's better now. I hope that's not gonna be a thing that happens. But yeah, I tend to find that games that are locked to 60, if there's another fucking tutorial cutting me off, I'm just gonna ignore it. Uh, they tend to have more input latency or input lag, and I don't know, I, I don't like games that are locked to 60 as a general rule. I tend to prefer just having more frames than I know what to do with, but this game seems to run fine, except for that one moment. Hopefully that doesn't become a trend. We'll see. We'll see. Like right here, it's it's perfect. Super smooth. So... Maybe that was just some weird spike of, like, loading in the level, I'm hoping. We'll see. 
maybe I'll have to turn down some options. I mean, I honestly find these lighting effects a little bit extreme, almost distractingly so. But I guess that's the look they're going for. Moving blocks. Moving blocks allows you to reach new areas. Some moving blocks activate only when landed on. I see. So you need to jump around. Oh, not like that. Hit enter. You need to jump around and make sure to... Well, I guess you can see that this is a moving block. Okay, never mind. I thought you would have to like... Yeah, there we go. Have to just test out every single block to find out which one moved. But no, you can just see which ones they are. Do I want to, like, jump off here? Probably not. Nope, probably not. So where is... What? Oh, I thought I fell off. You can't fall off of moving blocks, I see. So this is just like a little... Enjoy the ride kind of thing. That's odd. Huh. But yeah, interesting note about the pressing enter to reset your position. I thought it would, like, send you back to the previous checkpoint, but apparently it's just the last safe position you were in. Okay, can I go off now? Yes, I can. Those blocks are a bit strange. I don't really know... Can I jump this entire way? It does not look like it. Nope. Alright. Press enter. Oh, no, I'm here. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, that was so close. What? Where? Oh, right, I was on that block. Oh man, that was confusing. I thought it would be sent back even further or something. Huh, all right, sure. What the hell is that? So do I just want to like jump down here? I, I guess so, and then down, but then what's going to happen? Surely there's going to be another tutorial thing telling me about some magical super move I can do. Like, if I just jump onto this, it's way too far away, so never mind. Yeah, the reset function is pretty convenient. Ah, okay. Things might happen, just if you go to the right spot, that's good to know. Oh, are they... I thought they were, like, getting darker, and that they would disappear or something. Is this a power-up? Data splines. Data splines allow fast movement through the air. Jump into the entry point sphere to use. Some data splines can be exited before reaching the end point. Others cannot. Okay. So, can you, like, tell the difference? I can't exit this one. All right, so once again, it's just kind of, enjoy the ride, you have no input. Not sure how I feel about that. Like, what's the point? What's the point of a platforming game that platforms for you? Okay, I don't know if there are like, secrets or anything like that in this game. Maybe you should try- oh god, maybe you should try to look around and stuff. Also, I just noticed if you run off the edge, you can still jump. Like, you don't use up your jump until- oh wait, can you see that in the- Yeah, you can see that in the bottom left. I still have my jump now, so I can jump whenever I want. That's cool. You don't have to be planted on the ground to use your jump. And yeah, maybe you will get more jumps as well because of that, then. Yeah, I feel like it's a little bit jittery, the frame rate, even though the frames aren't dropping at all. It's, like, perfectly smooth. Imanitas Entertainment, or Imanitas something, presents. A game by Ollie Boys. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Construct! Sorry, I have to scream. And yes, I am gonna stop that joke now. It's done. It's over. Where am I going? Aha! Uh -huh. Secret behind here? Secret? No, no. No secret. Huh. Yeah, I wonder. 
Are there secrets? Is this a secret filled game? Or is it just kind of a linear visual platformer? I seriously don't know. That's like the good thing about going in blind. And yeah, this is gonna start moving. And now I can't go off again. Yeah. Not sure how I feel about that. Just not being able to get off moving platforms at all. So, we're just enjoying the ride here. I mean, to be fair, the mouse smoothing option in the options kind of does give you the vibe of this is not going to be a super, like, what do you want to call it? Competitive or intense game? I don't know. That just kind of, it feels like that to me if you have like, oh, you have to have mouse smoothing. Oh, construct, achievement unlocked. Construct hub. This is the construct system main hub. The construct hub is the gateway to four distinct areas. Explore these areas and find a way to escape the system. Okay, I guess we're in a system. I didn't even know. What was I saying? Uh, right, mouse smoothing. Like when you have to have mouse smoothing, and it's just a, a slider of how much you want. It kind of reminds me of Cairo, which is like, it just feels like something you have for the cinematic effect and not for how good it feels ever. But maybe I'm wrong. So I can go up here, but there is something down here, maybe. Trees? Some ambient music. Certainly looks pretty. I'm wondering though, in an area like this that looks very white and monotone, what if I go to visual mode? Ah, negative. And monochrome default. This kind of looks the same. And then monochrome negative. I see. So negative is just like everything is opposite. Huh. Yeah, it's, it's pretty neat. But I'll stick with default for now and... Maybe we'll explore more of that later on. So if I jump down here... I don't die. I can, like, actually walk around here, which is very strange. Can I climb this entire hill? I am kind of tempted to turn off some more visual options just to see... Maybe, like, lower the preset in Unity as well. Just to see... I don't think I can get it looking even smoother, but if I could, that would be nice, and I'm definitely more more about the frame rate and smoothness than I am a game looking pretty. Okay, this is very, very strange. So I would just fly up there, it would just be a giant journey looking through the landscape. What the hell is going on? What is the point of all of this? What am I doing? Well, I can't stop now. We gotta see this through. What is on the other side of the mountain? Doesn't even seem like you need to jump, like, up a hill or anything. If you can jump up it, you can walk up it, it seems. Maybe that's not the case every time. So is this just gonna go on forever? Let's see, one more hill. Let's see if it keeps going past this. Surely it has to stop at some point. Right here. Nope. It just keeps going. Uh. Okay. I'm just gonna keep doing it. I have to. I can't give up now. I can still, like, see the level, so... This doesn't seem to be randomly generated or anything like that. What the crap is going on? 
why is this area so huge? Why would you ever need it to be this big? Holy crap. Well, this is what we're doing for the rest of the episode. I gotta see how far this goes. I have to. Because this is so weird. Why would they put the effort into... Like, generating so much of a landscape that you would never ever need to go to? I was expecting it to just be a complete cutoff point. After the first or second hill. I'm gonna take this moment to have a drink of water. Alright, in before we cross the peak and look over another vast landscape of nothing. It's probably gonna happen. Yeah, either you would have a cutoff point. Holy shit. Oh. Oh. Is it like... Did I find the end? Does it stop generating here? Maybe. Yeah, I can never go past this line. So I guess I'm at one seam right here. And if I keep going this way, I would get to a corner. Probably. But yeah, usually you have like... Either just walls after a certain distance, so you can't go past it at all, or just like a drop-off leading to nothing. Can I not climb this, maybe? No, I can. Okay. And... Oh my god! Oh! Oh, I found it! I see. Damn! I actually thought, like, this looks really nice. It's so weird, it's like... It's just fucking polygons, and still it looks quite fast. Oh god, frame drops. What is that about? Yeah, that's very strange, just random one second frame drops. Hope that's not gonna be a, a thing. But yeah, like I was saying, it's just polygons, but for some reason, they they look really fascinating. It's kind of captivating. Well, I guess I found the answer. There is nothing out here. It's just an endless landscape that eventually just cuts you off, and I imagine there's nothing beyond this part. They just, like, render that so it seems like the world is almost endless. And if I hit enter now... I... Oh. Oh. Oh, that's not quite what I had in mind. I see, but restarting in the menu takes you back to the start of the level, or maybe the previous checkpoint, or something like that. Alright. Well, that's good. Man, that's... Weird. That is very interesting. So I guess there's not really any point to, like, jumping off and running around and trying to find secrets and stuff. I guess I should wait with that until we know if there are secrets to begin with. But, yeah. Might leave it there for today, and we'll come back to it and check what the hell is going on with the hub and the four worlds and which one we'll go into, if it's, like, a sequential order or if you can pick whichever one you want. And... Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely intrigued. And if you're new here, that whole walking section will tell you everything you need to know. I will not drop something until I know how it works. That is very important.
So, hope you enjoy this first little taste, just basically the tutorial, and as I said, we'll get into more of Construct. I don't- I didn't scream this time. Go me. Next time. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye!